A 78 year old woman has been booked for vehicular manslaughter. Police say she was driving when her car hit a family waiting at a San Francisco bus stop on Saturday. Three family members, two adults and one young child were killed. Tonight, friends of those victims and pedestrian safety advocates are holding a memorial at that crash site in the city's West Portal neighborhood. That's where we find NBC Bay Area's Sergio Quintana, where that vigil is about to begin. Hi, Sergio. Hey, Kira, and you can see right now that there is a pretty large turnout at this memorial. You know, this afternoon we were actually able to talk with a witness of Saturday's crash, and he said that it looked like that SUV was driving pretty quickly, and it did leave an actual, uh, unfortunately, a large crash scene. The vehicle apparently first hit that wall right there on the library and then skidded to right here where there used to be a bus bench shelter and unfortunately hurled one of the children all the way over to across Lenox Street where there is a second memorial site. Today we are learning a little bit more about the victims in this crash. Since the deadly crash Saturday, people have been coming by the corner of Uloa and Lennox and have been adding items to this growing memorial made up of flowers, shoes, and a baby stroller. This is a busy bus stop. We saw quite a few people come by with their children. Some left flowers as they paid their respects. According to the Brazilian consulate, one of the victims is a Brazilian citizen named Diego, but they would not release a last name. The consulate did confirm the three victims who died are family members, but did not say they were Brazilian. The woman who's now facing felony vehicular manslaughter charges in this crash is 78-year-old Mary Fong Lau of San Francisco. According to the San Francisco Sheriff's Department, she's in custody at a local hospital. Some people who stopped by the memorial were surprised to learn more about the driver of the SUV. What an older lady, she shouldn't have been driving alone or shouldn't have been driving, period. Do you know how a lot of people were driving when they shouldn't be driving? In the charges filed by the police department, there was no mention of driving under the influence. And during a weekend briefing with reporters, the chief of the San Francisco Fire Department speculated that the driver may have had some kind of medical emergency before the crash. But no further information about that has been released. Witnesses did describe the SUV as traveling pretty fast when it crashed. Cornelio Velasquez says it sounded like a bomb going off when the car crashed into the bus shelter and bench. He showed me a photo of the infant being attended to by a passerby who stayed with him till emergency crews arrived. So far, the infant is the only one who survived. The other child was thrown all the way across Lenox Street where flowers mark a second memorial. That's where Velasquez says he watched emergency crews putting a yellow cover over him. He shared this photo of the crashed SUV and a witness attending to the woman who was nearly pinned between the Mercedes and the curb. She's the victim who survived the initial crash on Saturday, but died yesterday. Me duele el corazón por los niños. Velasquez says his heart aches for the whole family, but especially for the children. Now, this vigil just started, so people uh, are actually speaking here with some hushed voices, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere to that as well. But I will say that the, organ the event itself is organized by Walk SF. They have been voicing concerns about pedestrian safety in the city since this crash on Saturday. By their count, the victims in this crash were the fifth, sixth, and seventh pedestrian deaths in the city since the start of the year. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News. Just heartbreaking. Sergio, thank you for that.